Hi. What is that? That's a spaghetti squad. <laughs> <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. No shit. On tinfoil. No shirt, Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> so I cooked this 40 minutes and the shit was still slightly crunchy, but it was, um, the, what do you call that? The outside was just soft enough, so I assumed it was done and it was edible, but slightly crunchy. So maybe more than 40 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Dude, that shit's burners. Anyway, fresh ginger required. Tiny bit of carrot. And a nice knife. Dude, that knife is legit. I've had that bitch for like, I don't know, five years? Let the manufacturer know. I'm not telling the brand. Okay, so, see the ends? Right there, that end, and the other end? I separated those from the middles. Alright, shitload of arugula. What do you think of this dish? It was good. Really good? Kinda good? Medium good? It was... Was it like ramen? Very good. Was it like ramen? It was kinda like ramen, but it was better. Mmm. Alright, half of those are for the garnish and the other half are for cooking. So we need to buy more sesame seed oil, obviously. Everybody take note. So let's cook the end pieces of the mushrooms, green onions, uh, ginger, where's that, carrots, bam, and then some of the ginger, and we'll save the rest for the broth. It's like a one-man portion, despite having like a- there's some soy sauce for you. Having a lifetime supply of spaghetti squash. And then, if you want to make it presentable, separate all that shit out. If not, just like, throw it together. Dude, too much carrot is no good. A polite portion, please. And that shit, you have, you need a lot of arugula because it will shrink down. I'm trying to think of a, an analogy. But I can't. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> so that's two cups of water. You could do one or two cups of water. And all the flavor from sauteing will be part of that. And then we'll just boil the ginger and the mushroom together and the soy sauce. That's reduced sodium, so good luck figuring out the exact amount because reduced sodium is like an enigma. Um, <laughs> it is for me, for this cook, um, for this rich beach. So that's adding salt because Asian food needs a lot of salt. Um, that's agave because all that salt really needs a little bit of sweetener. It makes a huge difference. A half a lime is all you need. The sriracha is actually really essential to, uh, if you haven't used it for making Asian food. It's surprisingly pretty fucking essential. So here's me acting like I've never owned a ladle in my life and doing like two ounces at a time to fill up a fucking bowl. Oh, this shit was so good. Perfect. It was perfect for today. It was like chilly out. It was perfect. My soul melted. My black soul melted. How about yours? Um, and you? It warmed up. Yeah, that too. Dude, this was so good. And I actually drank the rest of the broth with a spoon. Like, I'm a hippie. Because it was so good. Alright, make this. Peace the